Welcome in. How in the world are you today? Let's go to the phones. Good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. Good morning. Hi, how are you? Good. How'd you guys do over that Hurricane Sand? Do you guys make out okay? We're okay, yeah. Well, thank God. And you know when there's a crisis like this, you can't underestimate the power of a good generator. Yeah. And I got one for sale. I got a very special electric generator. This one is powered by human feces and urine. Okay. I got it from my grandfather <laughs> in WW2. They used it all the time. Okay. So with just two pounds of fecal matter and a gallon of piss, you can operate your home for at least two hours. Ah, okay. It sounds like something people could use. Uh -huh. <laughs> You're not kidding. And you know as well as I do, when it comes to urine and feces, it is something we never run out of. Yeah, really. It is. I tell you one thing: you run out of power, you just squat yourself over this thing, and you'll be watching TV in no time. Okay, what's your phone number? Sure, my number is two one. And just ask for Lou. Mm -hmm. Lou Sasshole. You have a super day. <laughs> Through the storm. Good morning. You're on Swap and Shop. How are you? I'm doing great. How are you? Oh, I'm doing great. I got some quilts for sale, but real quick, that guy with his generator, do you know how much feces and urine it would take to run your house for even a couple hours? I mean, you'd have to have the whole neighborhood coming over to, to poop in that thing. Well, you'd have to have your house already rewired or pre-wired to, uh, to make the transition. Well, I think he was just trying to make you sound like a jackass idiot. That's not just my opinion. Well, I noticed uh, he was talking about the hurricane, but uh, okay, now you have some quilts, is that right? Yeah, I got some quilts. You know, actually, maybe you could use them to wipe your ass after you poop in that generator. <laughs> Man, you stupid. Well, okay. Uh, oh, takes my goodness. All kinds. That was probably the earlier call coming back. Good morning, you're on W. Well, good morning. Hey, good morning. An electric generator powered by feces? I think you've got some shit in your brains. <laughs> this is... It, was there a full moon last night? I don't know. And uh, I don't we know don't either. have time for your calls anymore, buddy. Uh, we've got your phone number here, right. uh, 646 area code. Uh, you're, uh, you're gone. And the next time that person calls, we're going to share his phone number with everybody. He is out of this town. Uh, and he needs to be out of the station. Bye. Kent. Birthday and anniversary time. Gabe Oy Toucher of uh, Stanton. 65 for Gabe today. Happy birthday from Richard and Salvatore. The two anniversaries today include Margie and Eaton Loads of Stanton. 50 years together for Margie and Eaton. Happy anniversary, Mom and Dad, from your children, Howard and Fred. And Ethel and Herb Eversmells of Shenandoah. 60 years together. Good morning. It is Trady Oliver's filling in for Original Ray because it's Wednesday, which means that's Ray's day off. He's, he'll be back on Saturday for Trady O. Yay, now that that's out of the way, caller one, that's you. You're on Trady Good morning, Ray. How are you? Well, I'm Bruce, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, well, where's Ray? Ray, this is day off. Oh, is he on today? No, he's. I'm, I'm on for Trady O. I'm in, I'm in his stead. Okay, well, can I talk to him? He's not here on Wednesdays. He's on the rest of the week. I'm still doing it fine, though. Oh, okay, that's good. Well, can you hand the phone over what to him? What do you have to buy, sell a trade? Well, what time is Ray in tomorrow? I'm not sure. What? What? Do you have anything you want to buy, sell a trade? Well, I wanted to know when Ray was going to be on. Well, he's not on today. He'll be back on tomorrow, 10 o'clock. Well, I'm working tomorrow. Is, is he going to be on on Friday? Yeah, he'll be on there Friday, too. Okay, well, if I can't get a hold of him on Friday, is he on on Monday? Yes, he's he's here every day of the week except Wednesdays and Sundays. Well, that's why he's not here today? Yeah. Oh, was he on Saturdays, too? Yeah, he's on Saturdays, too. I'm, I'm sorry, do you have something you want to buy, sell, or trade, or give away? Well, I do, but I wanted to talk to Ray about it first because it's kind of a personal item between us, and and I need to ask him if it's all right if I sell it. Well, I'll tell you what. You give me a call back tomorrow then, okay? Eh? Uh -huh. You give me a call back tomorrow then. Well, what if I'm busy tomorrow? It's Wednesday, and I want to talk to him today on Wednesday. He's not on here on Wednesday, so. Well, is he coming in for lunch or anything after the show today? Well, no. All right. we got to get going here. we got more callers waiting, okay? Well, hold on. Hello? we got to get going. 
Well, I'm sorry, Ray. Just hold your horses if you could, because I don't really think my question's been answered yet. Yeah, I think I think it has, and he'll be on here tomorrow, Friday, Saturday, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday next week. But does he come in in the afternoon? I'm going to have to move on. I'm sorry. I need Ray. Anyway, we're going to get to call two, and that's you. You're on Tradio. Bruce, how you doing today, buddy? I'm good. Bruce, what in the love of the Lord is going on with those gosh darn pranksters? They don't have a brain cell in their noggin. I guess not. I don't know. It's just gosh darn ridiculous. Hey, anyway, when's Ray back in? He back in on Monday? Yeah, he'll be back on a Monday. Great, because uh, he had a rash on his apple bags, and I lent him my ball cream, so I want to make sure he gives me that son bitch back. Okay, well, there's that call. All right. Odd calls today. It seems to be a pattern. Still playing phone roulette and caller three. That's you. You're on Tradio. What the hell's going on there, Ray? Some jerk off was just being rude to me while I was asking for it. Yeah, what, what's the language there, Chief? What do you mean by Chief, Ray? You, you got anything to buy, sell, or trade? Your voice sounds weird today, Ray. What's going on with you? Yeah, we're going to move on to the next caller. We're on caller number four. Hopefully that goes better. Hopefully that's a legitimate call. If you have any legitimate calls that you would like to make today, I would be more than happy to take them. And this is happening yesterday. It's happening again today. So that way to not waste the other listeners' time, if you have something you'd like to legitimately put on Tradio, and we have time for one more caller, and that's you. You're on Tradio. Ray, my sack is redder than a baboon's ass. I need my goddamn ball cream. Okay. <sighs> Good morning, this is Swap Shop. Good morning, how are you doing today, Chris? Great. Fantastic. I got something for sale. My dad was a, a professional tailor costume designer for The Tonight Show when Johnny Carson uh, was the host of the television show. Do you remember that? Sure. This is a, a plaster mold of Johnny Carson's paint, and I like about uh, $65 <laughs> for it. Okay. The paint itself is about two inches in <laughs> diameter and uh, about a half inch uh, as far as the width is concerned, and it was molded when he was creating a, a a particular cot piece for Johnny for a warrior segment, and the, the plaster was applied right underneath the uh, testicular area. And a... All right, all right, let's go on to something else. Good morning, this is Swap Shop. Good morning, how are you today? I don't know, how are you doing? <laughs> I don't know either. I don't know if there's something in the water or full moon or what going on out there. Okay. <laughs> well, I just want to let everybody know, I'm with the 4-H, and we're working with Rusty and Sons Vet. We're having a Doggy Mountain Oyster Feed, and it's for charity. And uh, what happens at the vet when they spay the dogs, they keep the, the testicle parts, and we just fry them up, and we're just having a feed. It's this Thursday, and you come out and eat all the dog testicles. <laughs> I'll be sure and join us again tomorrow morning. We'll see if we can uh, get rid of the knuckleheads and uh, and do it again a little bit easier. Yeah, hi, is this the adult store? Uh huh. What can I assist you with? Well, me and my buddies, we're having a bachelor party, mm -hmm. and I was wondering what kind of sexy games, board games you have? Uh, all different kinds, on You would just have to come in and look at them. Well, can you let me know if you have hungry, hungry dildos where you stuff one of your buddies' asses with meatloaf, and then whoever digs it out with the dildo first wins? Honey, I have like 20 or 30 games. Well, can you just let me know real quick if you have cockopoly where the buddy who can put the most game pieces in their pee hole wins? Honey, we don't, we don't have any of the ones like that. Do you have battle shit where you shape your turds into the shape of a ship and then you throw it at all your I'm buddies? I'm not going to get sit here on the phone for half an hour and explain to you what we do and do not have. I don't have time. Well, and this I was just curious. Do you have pin the pecker inside the donkey's asshole where who whichever buddy can fight off the other one to get to bang a blow up donkey first wins? No, honey, because something with a donkey is illegal. It's bestiality. No, it's not a real donkey. It's a Blow it, does, up. it doesn't matter. Oh. Do you have Connect Four skin where two uncircumcised guys connect their foreskins together and then another buddy tries to separate them with his tongue? Well, we don't have the type of games like that. Oh, you don't? We have fun, 
consensual party games, not raunchy ones. Do you have splatter gories where one buddy with diarrhea splatter shits on the game board and then you have to guess what he ate? Honey, I'm about to hang up this phone. That this is getting to the point that this is a little ridiculous. Keeping me on the phone for half an hour talking about things that you shove in someone's anus, it's not very cute. Well, I just want... So if you would like to know what we have in our store, come on in. What well, do you have poop shoots and ladders no. where you climb a ladder and then you try to shit in your no. buddy's mouth below and whoever shits his no. mouth first I, wins? I, I, uh... Hello? Welcome back. We've got a couple minutes left with uh, Virginia's Lieutenant Governor Bill Bowling. If you have a question or comment for the Lieutenant Governor, back to the phones. Good morning. You're on the air with Lieutenant Governor. Hello. Uh, I'm on hold to speak to the Governor, please. Uh, Lieutenant Governor Bowling is right here. Oh, what? I'm sorry. I thought I was still on the uh, on the uh, hotline there. No, you're on the air, sir. Oh, gee. Hold on. My, actually, my wife has it. Ethel, the governor's on the phone. My wife's... Oh, she's right. coming. She's got the question. I apologize. That's okay. We love you, Governor. Uh, uh, Christ, get off the toilet. The governor's waiting for you. Uh, I'm coming, Fred. Hold on. Here she comes. Sorry. Right. It's the... Christ, right, say, hurry up. Hold right. on. Here she comes. Grab the paper. I got the paper. Here. Here. Okay, I'll tell you what. I'm... Here we go. Here we go. Here, she, right. is. here she is. Hold on. Hello? Is he still there? Yes, Ethel. Oh, hi. Good, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, uh, hi, Governor. I want to ask right, you... Hi, it's Lieutenant Governor. What's your question? I got it written down here. Um, dozen eggs, meow mix, um, metamuse... Uh, oh, my goodness. I, I'm sorry. I got the wrong paper. Fred, you gave me the grocery list. You grabbed the wrong paper, you dumbass bitch. <laughs> right, I'll tell you what, will you go ahead and put everything together, and we'll get back to you. Uh, right. The time is 10.30. Time. I dreamed I was there in hillbilly heaven. Oh, oh boy, that's a good one, too, by the late, great Tex Ritter. Hillbilly heaven, man, that was a good one. Good morning, Swap and Shop. Good morning, Jim. Good morning. How are you? All right. Thank and, you. And uh, I'm here with my wife, Ethel. Hi, Jim. And we just want to say that, you know, we go through the Internet. We've been on Craigslist. Uh, we check the classifieds, and we've never found a situation where there's a swap right on the radio. So we're really excited about that. Well, thank you so much for listening. Well, you're very welcome. And we'd like to do some swapping today, if that's okay. All right. Uh, we're primarily looking for other couples to swap. Uh, Ethel likes, uh, African Americans. Yeah, my. Uh, boy. And good morning, Swap and Shop. Uh, yes, I got a black rooster for sale. A black rooster? Yeah, and my number's one door. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Bye now. Bye. Good morning, Swap and Shop. I had a quick number to ask for the guy that said he had the rooster for yes, sale. Yes. I'm looking for a black cock and. Well. Good morning, Swap and Shop. Good morning, Jim. How are you? Doing fine. You okay? I'm a bit confused today. I love your show. I've been listening for quite a while. It, what exactly is going on today? Is this true that uh, is there a couple of swingers swap? Okay. And good morning, Swap and Shop. Good morning. Good morning. As far as music, uh, Boxcar Willie. Oh, yes. I love that Boxcar Willie. We lost him way too early. Yeah, he's a good one. He surely was. <laughs> well, thank you so much for the memories. All right, thanks. Okay, bye now. All right. Well, all right. And good morning, Swap and Shop. Yeah, good morning. That fella was just having memories of Boxcar Willie. Yes. Yeah, I'd be interested in that fella putting his Willie in my box, actually, if he if I can get his number. Ooh. It... Good morning, Swap and Shop. Well, good morning, Jim. How are you? Doing okay. Yourself? Good, good, good. This is Lester Green. It's a pleasure to be on the show. I'm looking to swap my uh, big black penis with that couple that called in so they can give me a call. I appreciate it. I didn't know you guys swapped couples. But, uh, uh, and that's going to be our last call. Good day, everyone. I dreamed I was there. Can't. You're listening to the legendary Inspiration Station. Well, good afternoon, everyone, and welcome into Tradio. And good afternoon, you're our first caller on Tradio. You're on the air. 
Andy, how you doing, bud? Doing good. What you got? I have a Black & Decker uh, two-slice toaster. I really don't know the price. I got it as a gift, and I'll give you the serial number if anybody's listening. If they got a pen handy. Okay. Uh, it's seven Z is in zebra, five, five again, <laughs> six, zero, zero, and then the letter P is in Peter, two, four, three, one, one. W as in wagon. Okay, uh, let's. Uh, uh, let, uh, he so, woke up. Uh -huh. So hold hold off on the serial number until uh, they call you. Okay. Well, yeah, I'm almost done here. I just got eight zero zero nine eight sixty two. I, I just need your uh, the price and the telephone number. Okay, and then G is in George. Sir. Okay, this is. Uh, I need your five. Okay, if they want 61. to, if they want to know, they'll call you. Now let me have your number and. Uh, yeah, I'll, I'll finish the number. Like you said, it's two three, and it's L L. Uh, P is in. Uh, Sir, I guess Tommy. Uh, that is enough. I need your, seven eight. I need your telephone number. The number, yeah. Uh, G is in George. Okay, that's enough. Oh. <laughs> Good afternoon. You're caller number two. You're on Tradio. You're on the air. Hi there, Andy. How you doing, sir? Jeez, that guy with the toaster sounded like one of those hippies who toasted his brain on grass. <laughs> we won't go any further. <laughs> <laughs> well, enough for this tomfoolery, Andy. Right. What was the serial number for the toaster he had? I got the seven and the G for Gerald and the nines and four. Four, ten, uh, ten. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, uh, uh so, show, show is over. Now to take a little break here, back in about, in about three and a half oh. minutes when Tredio returns. It is auction time already. Hey, well, all right, sir, open the gate and let them out and walk them, boy. Here we come, a lot number And, of course, always a favorite, Taco Tico gift certificate. That's a $30 gift certificate. We already have a lot of calls. Let's get to them. Radio auction. Yeah, hi, what's the opening bid on the Mike Morales underwear party tickets? Oh. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Here's my new rule. Call in, tell me your name. If I don't recognize your name or I don't believe you, I'm hanging up. New rule. Hmm. Good. New Radio option. Yeah, Taco Tico, what's that at? 22, next bid's 24, it's a $30 value. I'll make it for 27. 27, his bid. Lee? What's your last name? We can ain't it. Oh. Okay. Radio auction. Twenty-eight dollars on the hemorrhoid massage, please. <laughs> and, oops, hold on a second. Radio auction. A JD Quick Burger, please. Okay, it's a thirty-dollar gift certificate. Do you want to start at eighteen? Oh, eighteen will be perfect. Who's this? Uh, this is Drew. Droopy nuts. <laughs> I do appreciate everybody's patience. Be sure and give me your first and last name right away or guess what? Uh, I'm hanging up on you. Good for you. I'm just going to hang up. Good for you. Radio auction. Yeah, I'd like to bid $5 on the first person and turn in them two jerks to keep calling in. I'll raise it to 10 bucks. Uh -huh. There we go. I'll throw bucks. in 20 and I'm pretty, <laughs> I'm pretty <laughs> tight, so that's it. Yeah. Hey. hey, guys, it ain't funny. I don't, I don't know who you are, but I bet somebody's going to turn you in. Uh oh. Well, I, I appreciate it. And we do I, have... I'm sorry, Lisa. This, this oh, is okay. a bunch of crap. Lisa. Hey, thanks, buddy. I appreciate Bye. it. Bye. Bye bye. Lisa. Radio auction. Hi, this is Anita. I want to make a bid for hometown tires. Anita, what's your last name? Rim job? Uh, <laughs> guess what? Uh oh. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, how you doing? Calling about the Camaro you have for sale? Oh, okay. What are you asking for that right now? I'll take 18. No less 18, than 15. that's it? Wow. Get out of here. I'm serious. That, I mean, I'm not trying to do nobody. I didn't pay all that much, so that's why I'm not trying to do nobody. I'm just trying to get back what I paid. I'm having a hard time believing that. Sorry, but are you joshing me? No, I'm not. I'm a business type person. I don't judge. <laughs> uh, are you pulling my leg? No, I'm not. You're not yanking my chain, are you? No, I'm not. Are you blowing smoke up my rear end? No, <laughs> I'm serious. Are you squirting hot sauce in my <laughs> dick hole? No. 
<laughs> you freaking too. <laughs> Are you giving me a reach around without even kissing me? No, I'm not. Are you jizzing all over my face? No, I'm not. Why would I play? I'm 35 years old. I don't have time for games. Oh, you're not, Joe. You're not giving me a hand job, are you? Are you interested in buying a car? Well, are you shitting all over my chest? Are you interested or not? Are you going to buy the fucking car or not? Um, uh, nah. <laughs> Here we go with the trivia question for today. What popular term was invented by comedian Rodney Dangerfield in a 1968 joke about his dad? Let's just uh, go to the phones and see who might know. Hello, trivia. You're going to wind up taking a nice drink. No, it's not right. Whatever, dude. <laughs> trivia. <laughs> Doesn't it feel good. Go ahead and fuck it now. Trivia. Redheaded stepchild? No, that's not right. Who knows? He invented this term in a joke he told in 1968. Trivia. Maslu uh, Gerziewicz. No, that's not right. That was Evil Dave. Should have put my brain gear before opening mouth. <laughs> Hello, trivia. Musculate you. No, that's not right. <laughs> Hello, trivia. <laughs> Who's in uh, skin boots? <laughs> Let's go to the phones. <laughs> Hello, trivia. Four inches is fine. No, that's not right. <laughs> Asshole. Oh. 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 A workaholic. That's it. He said my dad was a workaholic. Every time he thought about work, he got drunk. All right, we got that off. I got some very interesting stuff here. Ah, I got a flash. Hello? Uh, hey, uh, yeah, you know how you're always asking for scientists and people to work for NASA to call in? Yeah. Well, I actually worked for NASA for three years. Uh huh. Ninety-seven to the year two thousand. Oh uh, yeah. Yeah, but I uh, got kicked out because they caught me fucking a moon rock. Oh, uh -huh. <laughs> thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, I got a call. Screwing a moon rock. I'm telling you, my audience, it's following me. I can't take it. All right. Now, what do I got for you here? All right, I'll, I'll pick it up. All right, how are you? Orby, how are you doing? I don't know, I'll find out. Tell me. Hey, I'm a scientist. I work in uh, near Manhattan. All right. I got a slight problem. I got my cock stuck in a beaker. <laughs> All right. Well, no, well, what is it about this show here? This show is scientific. I want doctors, doctors. Are you a cunt? Back to the phone. Welcome to Tradio. This is Benjamin Norris. I am getting rid of uh, some Christmas ornaments. Benjamin Norris getting rid of Christmas ornaments. This just in. Actually, I'm looking to do a swap. Um, we came into a nice Jewish family, and we're looking to get them a menorah. We're looking for a specific one for this family. Uh, it's uh, the big labia menorah, and it doesn't matter if it's uh, you know old or dirty, whatever. We'll take the labia menorah anyway that you can give it to us, and we'll swap off our Christmas balls. And I can and honestly say. In all the years I've hosted Tradio, no one has looked for a fixer-upper menorah. It's called the Big Labia Menorah. Okay. And it doesn't matter if it's beat up and old or sticky. We'll, we'll, we'll take care of it. We'll be happy to clean it up. I'll clean it myself. Okay. Sounds like a deal. Again, specifically, the Big Labia Menorah is what we're looking for. <laughs> Got it. Thanks, Paul. Have a blessed time. Hey, thank you, Ben. Appreciate the call. He has Christmas ornaments uh, that he would like to swap for the menorah. Let's go back to the phone. Welcome to Tradio. Morning, Paul. How are you? What's going on? Hey, so hey. that guy called about those ornaments. I actually happen to have a huge labia menorah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, the lips on my snatch. Off you go. <laughs> yeah, good for you. Uh, mm. uh, by the way, he can't call in tomorrow. Uh, <laughs> Good morning, Tampa Bay. It's Coach Cook, and we're back. And uh, we made a little switch at break. David's in the room. He's uh, going to be here through the rest of the show, wow. which uh, we're going to be talking about commercial real estate and investing in that area. Here we go. Rusty in Tampa? Hey, fellas. How you doing today? Good morning to you. Good morning. Good morning. I'm actually watching you right now on webcam. <laughs> Where are you? Are you in Tampa? You, you a couple of handsome fellas there. Now, can you wave the one that's talking so I can see this you? This is Coach Cook right here. It'll can you can you wave on the webcam there? Yeah, yeah, we're here. We're here. You'll see it in about seven seconds, though. 
Oh, you got a little bit of a delay on yeah. the webcam? Yeah, and what's on your mind today? Well, who's, can the other guy, oh, now I see you waving, I think. Okay. Can the other guy wave real quick? Yeah, do you have a question for us? Uh-huh. What's your question uh, for the coach? Hold on, I was just watching the webcam. How you doing, coach? Yeah, you want to turn that, uh, put your radio off while you're on the phone. <laughs> Oh, it's off, but I got the webcam on. I got the sound turned down. Well, that's great. Are you in Tampa? Yeah, I'm here in Tampa. What is the what's on the table there on the webcam though? What's all the papers and stuff you guys got in front of you on the webcam? Your papers and stuff. Is that real estate stuff? Or? Yeah, we treat we try to keep up on the news. What's going on with you? Oh, okay. You got is that newspapers? It looks like some articles or something there. Okay. Do you have a real estate question for us this morning? I was wondering, uh, I have an acceleration clause on an adjustable rate mortgage with okay. an adjustment uh -huh. date of an amortization schedule with an annual percentage rate of 10% mm -hmm. and the appraised value on a, an assumable mortgage with a balloon mortgage and balloon payment, so does that a mean bankruptcy you're... bill of sale with biweekly mortgage and a, on a bridge loan <laughs> with a buy-down call option and a cash-out refinance a certificate of deposit. <laughs> yeah, I think the cell dropped out. So we long, he'll have to come back with a little stronger oh cell phone. I'm not God. sure what's going on out there. We'll be right back after. Hello? Hi, hello. Yeah? Uh, I'm calling about the garage sale. Wake somebody up at 5.30 in the morning for a garage sale? You're crazy. Let me just double check my paperwork here. What the hell's the matter with you? Well, what the hell are you calling me crazy for? What do you want? I'm sorry. I think we got off on the wrong foot. I'm pretty sure we did. I apologize. Now, you're having the garage sale. I am not having a garage sale. Well, that's what it said in the paper. Well, I don't know what the paper's got. It says that you were uh, having a garage sale, and I wanted to come down and ask you how much you wanted for the garage. F*** you. <laughs> how would you like the phone company to get your phone number? The phone company didn't track you down yet? Hello? Hello? Hi, um, you had just talked to my husband and he might have <laughs> said you on the phone. Nobody wakes me up at 5.30 in the morning for a goddamn garage sale. Then he beat me a while ago because he was mad. <laughs> Hello? He beats me. No, 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 no. Listen. Roger. Miss, why are you giving my wife a hard time? Your wife. Your wife. It sounds like a wife. It sounds like a couple queers. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Police, how can I help you? Yes. This is the police. How can I help you? How can you help me? There's somebody who keeps on calling my phone number. They keep calling, calling, calling. I want you to get them. Great. We will follow through with this immediately. Please give me the number. You're not the police, you're those queers that's called. <laughs> How dare she? The, you bitch, I'm a woman and I'm... F*** you, you good-for-nothing queers. <laughs> Turkey Farm, how can I help you? Happy Thanksgiving. Same to you, dear. Well, I just had a couple quick questions about how to prepare a live turkey for Thanksgiving. How big of a turkey are you talking about? Well, let me tell my husband Fred to bring it on in here to the house. Fred, bring in the turkey. We named the turkey Petey. You're not bringing a live turkey in the house, are you? Come on in, Petey. Oh, whoa, whoa, Petey, right move. Can you still hear me? Yeah, I'm listening. I'm not kidding. You've got to get that bird out of there. Well, how the heck can Fred catch it? Listen to me. Listen to me. Go down and grab it by its leg. She said grab it by the leg, Fred. I can't even get close to him. He's faster than a turd in a tornado, Ethel. How should he stop Katie? Should he shoot it? No, no, don't shoot it. you got to go in the house. Are you crazy? He missed Katie and shot the toilet. Or the police. You're not listening. I'm done with this. Chapel, this is Joe. How can I help you? Hey, Joe. How are you? Fine. My name is Ed Ed Norris. I'm here with my sister Edwina Norris. Our grandfather just passed. 
Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. What was his name? His name was also Ed. I'm Ed the Third. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hi, sir. I'm his sister. I'm on the other line. How are you? I'm fine. We want this to be a celebration of our grandfather's life. Well, that is not a problem. We can accommodate your wishes any way you'd like. Well, some of the things, some of the ideas we had, we just wanted to run by to make it, sure it was feasible with you guys. Mm-hmm. Um, our grandpa, he made a living for about 30 years as a clown. He was Bongo's the Clown from the Carnival. Do you remember that? Uh, I haven't. I'm sorry. Well, we thought it'd be real nice if we can dress Grandpa back up again as Bongo's the Clown and have the grandchildren come in and they can throw balls at the dunk tank and try to dunk Grandpa like they used to do. Is it possible that we can do this? Um... Uh, you know, normally, um, once we put uh, the loved one uh, in the casket, we, we, we usually don't take them out. Would we be able to put the whole casket in the dunk tank? Uh, I, I, I've never heard of anything like that. I, I don't think it's physically possible, sir, uh, put the casket in a, a dunk tank. Can I ask you this? On the last day, can we make it an all-adult event without any children with a, a, a closed-door ceremony? No, well, that would be uh, strictly up to the family uh, in terms of the living. That, well, right. Okay. okay. Because Grandpa belonged to a nudist camp, and he had a tremendous amount of nude friends, and we thought it'd be real nice to have Grandpa nude in the casket and have all his friends come in naked to pay their respects. You know, I'm having a very hard time with this conversation because it is so out of left field, so out there. Uh, uh, perhaps it would be better at this point if you and your sister came in for a face-to-face -face consultation. That's great. Now, or, now, Grandpa, we used to joke around because once in a while his balls would fall out of his pants, you know, at Christmas and stuff. And yeah, he, they, I tell you, I'm not exaggerating. They hung down about half a foot. In other words, can you cut a hole in the bottom of the casket and make Grandpa's? <laughs> Balls hang down sir, so when people sir, walk in. Let me stop you right there. I cannot continue this conversation any further. Is it possible? Is it feasible? You and your sister could so come emotional. down today for a face-to-face -face meeting. But and also, he had a cat that used to like to play with his balls. Could we bring it in to play with the balls uh, hanging out of the? Oh, this is so sad. Hanging out of the casket. I can't even think about this. You know, sir, I am at a loss for words here. I don't know. I've asked you repeatedly uh, if you and your sister would come down for a face-to-face -face consultation. I don't know what else sister. I could do to accommodate your family, sir. A uh, golden shower is permissible. Sir, I have no idea what you're talking about. You used to pay boys. Scouts to urinate on him, and we wanted to. <laughs> what is your take on text messaging and uh, messaging someone that you like? Um, hello? Hi, how are you ladies doing today? Good, I see that you're from Florida over there. Yes, yes, how are you doing? God bless. Okay, so what's your story? Well, the first caller, and I know you don't want to delve on this too much, but he touched on interracial dating. Yes. I'm actually, I'm in an interspecies relationship right now. I'm fucking a squirrel. <laughs> I will take your phone number down and post it on the internet if you call back with some stupid story, okay? <laughs> I am serious about this. Um, we do have call ID here, so if you're looking to prank, uh, the joke is really on you, frankly. So, you're on live. Hello. Uh -oh. Yes. Hey, how are you doing? Good. Hey, I, I know you're talking about dating and stuff, but let me ask you, are you guys Chinese? I am. Okay, good. Maybe you can help me out with this. Sure. For the 4th of July, I was uh, shooting Roman candles out of my wife's pussy. Oh! <laughs> I have your cell phone number. You are such an idiot. Oh. I already stated that if you make prank calls, I will publish your your number. No, you won't. Um, sorry that you have to deal with all these prank I never calls, want. people. Next call after that. <clears throat> Welcome to Community Cop. Hi, fellas. How you doing? All right. Where are you calling you from? I'm calling from Manhattan. Happy Martin Luther King Day. Likewise. Likewise. Statement or comment? I had a comment. Actually, it was probably it was kind of a question. Okay. I was wondering, um, how many of you guys have fucked a fat white chick? Okay. Next caller. Welcome to Community oh, Cop. Answer. Next what? caller. Welcome to Community Cop. Yeah, That's part of the problem right there. Yeah. Next caller. Yeah, yeah, the Bible says don't answer fool according to its folly. Next caller. Welcome to Community Cop. Where are you calling from? Hello. Can yes. You hear me? Yes, we can. Where are you calling from? I'm calling from Harlem. Okay. Welcome. Quick statement or question? Yeah, I got. A, I actually got a problem. 
I had a deer tick crawling. Yeah. All right, yeah. next caller. Welcome to Community Cop. Next caller, welcome to Community Cop. Could tell me where you're calling from? Hello there, motherfucker. This is the Leroy Jackson from the Bronx, and I'm Next caller, welcome to Community Cop. Where you calling from? Yeah, it's love, brother. I'm calling from the Bronx. Okay, welcome. And I don't know who these fools be. Keep calling you and keep pranking your ass, but you guys are doing all right. Well, thank you. What's your question or your comment? Word, word. Now, I know there's a lot of you brothers sitting around there tonight. I, my question is, which one of you motherfuckers got the biggest black guy? Yeah, I knew, okay. I knew. Okay, thank you for that call. I uh, want to address that very uh -huh. quickly. I, I think it's almost insulting. Well, it's not almost insulting. It is insulting. Next caller. Hello. Yeah, welcome. Where are you calling from? Hi, I'm calling from West Harlem. How are you doing? Welcome. Today? Fine. Question or comment? Your dick crawled into my dick hole. <laughs> Remember, never answer a fool according to his folly. Just let those fools make the comments and come on and say the foolishness, and we just dismiss him and move on. Okay, now we'll take another call. Hello. Hi, how Hi. are you gentlemen okay. tonight? Thanks for taking my call. Sure, what, what's your question? I had a question about landlord liability as far as injuries in the apartment go. Because what happened is, in my situation, I have a, a shower that... For about six months, I've had virtually no cold water in my shower. And I've tried to, on a number of times, to get my landlord to come over. I even tried to get my grandson to work on it. And three days ago, I get in the shower and the water comes on and it, it was scalding hot and burned my cunt. And I don't know <laughs> if the landlord's responsible <laughs> or if I have any legal rights for this. Well, look, can I ask a couple of questions? Are, yeah. You said there was no no cold water at all? No. So it's not a no. question of the cold water being there, but you have what they call surges, which means somebody in the same line flushes the toilet and you're in the shower and all of a sudden it's scalding. Right. Yeah. So your problem is there's no cold water at all. In the shower there's not. Right. So and there's that's why my cat was pipe. all burned up. And I, Excuse me, I'm sorry. Uh, uh, that is incredibly serious problem. Obviously, <laughs> someone who goes into that shower can, can get burnt, as you're suggesting. That's like me. That's I you, am. right. You got to notify your landlord immediately in writing. And in writing. Is it the whole line? Are other people suffering from this problem? I'm the only one that I've talked to in my apartment that's right. been burned like this. And I've been burned before on the arm, but not on the cunt like this and it was this time it it was so bad well it, it's, so, it's entirely unacceptable and you need yeah. to contact your landlord immediately about it she might want to talk to her upstairs neighbors and her downstairs neighbors they might have the same problem that's right okay. and now we'll take another call hello <laughs> hi hi you're on the air how you doing okay you have a question yes i do i have an issue uh, with my landlord all right mm -hmm. well i have central air conditioning in my house in my apartment and it's not regulated by me it's regulated by my landlord right and he adjusts the temperature and it's freezing in here and i want to know what i could do to reach this guy you don't know his address or you've tried to contact him and you haven't gotten any uh, response i've tried contacting him by phone i've tried contacting him by letters my home is so freezing it's unbearable to be in here is it happening in other apartments yeah, I mean, it's, it's ridiculous. It's well, so cold in here. I can't, I can't function. I can't cook. I can't clean. I was jerking off the other day, and it looked like a Slurpee. <laughs> <laughs> they did catch this one? Uh, a crank call. About once a month, we get a yeah, crank call. Yeah, apparently. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> always young young men, you know. Uh, <laughs> young straight. Uh, just, uh, we've never had a woman do a crank call. Yeah. Okay. That says something about Yeah, men it certainly men does. Men. It certainly does. And now we'll take another call. What Hopefully not a crank call. Except for the one that burnt their cunt. Talk to your attorney about the fact that the landlord's ability, his legal right to collect rent from you is in question. Thank you very Thanks much. Thanks for calling and good luck. Bye-bye. Then we'll take another call. Hello? Hello. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, thank you for taking my call. Sure. Hey, I just want to say first off, I want to commend you. It's great what you're doing informing the public, and I, I want to thank you for that. Well, thank you, and thanks for watching. Well, thank you. I live in a rent-stabilized apartment on the uh, west side in Manhattan. Mm -hmm. I've actually written my congressman about this. I'm, I'm having a problem with my landlord. Uh, he keeps trying to touch my cock, 
And I, I can't get him to... <laughs> All right, that's it. <laughs> Once in a while, we get a crank call. It happens. Hey. And now we uh, will take another call, hopefully not a crank call. <laughs> Republicans like to spy on Americans, like to uh, uh, use illegal wiretappings to, to invade our privacy. Democrats protect the privacy of Americans, because that's what Democrats do. Do you see where I'm going here, folks? Uh, what's the mystery with the Democrats' message? Okay. Hello, you're on the air. Hello. Hello. How you doing? I'm doing good. Yourself? Oh, I'm doing great. Love your show. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, I had a quick question. Sure. Hello? I'm here. What's the question? What's your position on goat fucking? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. See, that's what we got to get beyond, folks. But anyway, one minute. Water is so good when it's cold. Okay. So we're taking your calls on love, health, wealth, marriage, career, things of that nature. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Hi, Morris. How are you today? Okay, and you? I'm good, thank you. I had a question about my pet. About uh, your who? About my pet dog. Oh, your pet dog? Yeah, I have a pet chihuahua and I was wondering when is it going to stop biting me while I fuck it? Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Yeah, hi, Morris. Uh, can I get a prediction? When are you going to let me jerk your cock off? Where are we going and what are we doing in this country? Oh, what? Okay. Good afternoon and welcome to Telepsychic and thank you for calling. Hi. How you can go through? I think we talked for a, uh, a long time ago, didn't we? No, we never spoke before. No, but the features are almost this okay. Uh, but I feel things are uh, going to be okay there. I got my black hacker stuck in the VCR. Yep. They will become free radicals because they give up their particles functioning in your body. So, yeah. Beverly, hold that thought because someone here wants to uh, say something on air. Go ahead, please. Hi. How are you? Happy holidays. Thank you. Oh, and you're who, very, very welcome. Oh, uh, this is Little Rusty. My dad actually put me on the phone. He said for the holidays to call Santa. Is Santa there? Now, your little who? Can I, I, talk, say can, I, can I tell Santa what I want for Christmas? I'm just trying to figure out if you would want to make a contribution to the show. I want a toy truck and a BB gun for Christmas. Um, how old are you? Well, I'm eight, but You're I don't. Eight. I just you sound angry with me, and I don't understand. Okay, I already said on the I'm last not angry. show, Rusty, because we don't have Santa here, so I think your parents might have put you on the wrong show. And we're actually this is a show about health, you know, staying healthy. Um, <laughs> but we don't talk about. Uh, well, are you trying to stuff. say Santa's not real? Is that what you say? Uh, what? No, you can't. Who told you Santa's not real? I God uh, damn it! Uh, <laughs> Who the fuck? What the fuck did he just say to my son? Santa's not real? Are you, are you a fucking... Uh, oh. Hello? <laughs> uh, but surely he just came on uh, that it is, after all, a call-in show. So having said all of that, I want to go to... Said all uh, what? Again, contributing to your health. Yeah, uh, somebody's wanting to come online. Uh, Janice, are you there? Good morning. Merry Christmas. And Hello. who might this be? Why, this is Chris Kringle at Santa Claus. <laughs> you know, I heard uh, a little boy, a little rusty, called to speak to me. And I want to let him know that Santa is here for him now. And I'd be more than happy to get him anything he wishes for this Christmas. <laughs> well, is, what's we're that? doing a whole show on Christmas next that week. Is, is I... that you playing Santa on the radio? No, no, it wasn't me. It wasn't. Daddy, that was you. Say what you did, you stupid <laughs> ass. You ruined our holiday. <laughs> um, <laughs> so, uh, little Ricky, uh, uh, I'm sure he knows you're thinking about him. And Ricky. you're going to get him his toy. Can't. Our love is the power to transform our world. Let us send it out now. Ah, blessed be. 
And that was the Earth Dance Global Prayer for Peace. Hello, dear one. Welcome. Hi. Welcome. I'm suffering from negative energy. I'm convinced that I'm being haunted by my uncle, who I uh, was molested from as a child. Okay. Uh, my name's Barry Hine, and my uncle was John. Oh, hi, Barry. Okay. Um, I call on Archangel Michael for helping with the protection of who you choose to be. Um, you know, I literally feel pain in my rectum area. Uh, he gave me crabs. Oh, all the physical sorts of things. Yeah, yes. so I have oh, um, pain oh in my. the anus, okay. anal bleeding. Well, well, you don't need to, you know, yeah, the symptoms we don't need to share on and we don't need to perpetuate. Um, <laughs> I Sometimes I feel like I'm suffocating, like he's suffocating me at night. He used to put his right. testicles in my mouth. Yo! Ooh. <laughs> Oops, I knocked um, you off the air. <laughs> please call on Archangel Michael and your guides and choose every second something different. Thank you. Bless it be. Uh, oh, Rusty, welcome. Hi. Hi. <laughs> this is fascinating. I, you know, I've had a lot of paranormal experiences because I grew up in a haunted house as well. Yes. And the things that I saw have really affected me as an adult because when I was a kid at our house, we saw ghosts, we saw poltergeists, apparitions, vampires, um, and werewolves, wow. and witches, and swamp creatures, and gremlins, and ghoulies and demons, and spiders, okay, okay, and ogres, okay, okay. and goblins, and dinosaurs, Whew. and warlocks, and sharks, and Mexicans. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hello there, Swap and Shop, can I help you? Great show. I have something for sale? <laughs> yes. I have a $25 gift certificate for Tim Hortons coffee, and I would like $50 for that. Well, who's going to pay 50 bucks for a $25 gift certificate? <laughs> well, hopefully there's somebody out there. It's a, it's a nice card. It's nice and shiny. It's brand new. Oh, like really? I, I like to make a profit on it. Well, I'm sure you would. All righty, so let's put that up, please, for $50. Maybe you want. I don't care. Would you like to buy it yourself? No. Yeah, well, I think I'd be doing a little bargaining on that one. I don't think I'd be uh, paying full price for it. All righty. Well, thanks a lot for your call. At least you kept me entertained today. Well, I don't understand the entertainment. I'm just looking to make a buck like anybody else. Oh, I don't, I don't mind. Listen, okay. you can charge anything you want for anything. If someone's willing to pay it, I'm more than happy to put you on the radio. <laughs> All righty. Can you read that back to me, please? No. Why is that? Well, I didn't type it down. Oh, well, let's go through that again. It's no, I don't think so. I think, I think we're going to get on to real people now. Thanks for the call, though. It was entertaining. Bye-bye. As real as they come. I'm Hi there. Swap and Shop. Can I help you today? Oh, hi. Good morning. I got four shiny new quarters. Okay, gotcha. And I'm asking $57 for that. Okay, sure. And I was going to take 90 but I'm feeling a little friendly today. Oops, I think we lost that one. Hi there, Swap and Shop. Can I help you? Hello? Good morning, Chief. How are you? Hey, what's happening? What's happening? Me and my old lady were at the gym. We're looking for a bench press. You selling a bench press? No, oh, it's a bearing press. Right, bench press, right? No, it press bearings on all bicycles and stuff like that. Oh, it's got ball bearings in it? Good. No, 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 no. No, it's, it's a bearing press. It's oh, hold on one second. Hey, I got, stop me, honey. I got my wife on the bench here at the gym. Give me one second. I, I got just... 225. I think I can do it. All right, stop baby. Me. Here I go. Oh, oh. Oh, push it, baby. Push it. No, it's not a bitch. Oh, it's, 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 it's oh not, man. It's, a, it's an automobile. Oh, my pecs are killing me. Here, you take the bench, honey. All right, hold on. <laughs> Let me get on that bench. Talk to him. Talk to him about the bench first, baby. Hello, sir. Hey, how you doing? I'm doing good. You sound like a nice fella. We just called to ask about your bench press you got for sale there. No, no, it's a bearing press. Bearing. My husband's doing his lats. Hold on one second. Give me two 100 plates on each side. Here you go, honey. Here you go. Yeah. <laughs> oh, he just did 224. It's a, it's a bearing press. You press bearing on. Yeah. <laughs> My husband just did 224 on his lats. It's a bearing. A bearing. Bearing. B E R I N G. Bearing. Come on, baby, one more push. Uh, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. <laughs> 
sir hello hi i'm not feeling very well i think i have a stomach thing going on mm -hmm. and i want to send my grandson up to pick something up for me but i'm just wondering what to tell him to pick up for me okay what's going on well i'm i'm dry, dry heaving a lot okay actually hold on could you hold on one second okay. uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'm still just dry heaving up a storm. Now, well, there's a product called Emma. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. What was that? It said there's a product called. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. I can't eat or keep anything down. Well, you you'll take. Uh... <laughs> what? What's it called again? Am <laughs> it's just, called Habitrol? Am <laughs> what was that? <laughs> okay. What's your name and we'll have it ready for you? Ethel Mertz. <laughs> gotcha, Ms. Mertz. <laughs> Thank you. Sure. <laughs> Hello, Mrs. Pharmacist. This is Bill. I have a friend who can't sleep and the need to knock her out. Uh-huh. Has she tried melatonin? Zoppity boop. You sound like my type of girl. How about on top of the melatonin, we add a half a bottle of NyQuil and about a half dozen Benadryl? If you've already tried the NyQuil, I would try just some Benadryl. Now we're getting somewhere. Mm. Now I heard that the tryptophan in the turkey will knock your ass out. How many pounds should the feeder? <laughs> I don't think that'll work. Well, how about if I just bash the turkey over her head? <laughs> Please don't do that. A zobble gobble bing bang boom. No, don't hit the girl. <laughs> Well, how about a 12-pack of old Milwaukee? That knocks me out. Ooh, then I can take my robe off and drag my nuts over her face. Please don't do that. I don't like that idea. I don't blame you. The hang so low I stepped on one the other day. <laughs> I'm really sorry, but I gotta go. I'm busy. Would you meet me for a drink? No, I can't do that. I have a boyfriend. <laughs> well, that's okay. Here's my wife to say hello. Hi. Huh? This is Mrs. Cosby, and I'm totally cool with my husband having a couple drinks with you. Well, no, that's quite all right. Nice to meet you, Bill. Bye. Happy holidays. Thank you for calling. And I'm going to help you. Hello, is this Christmas store? 
Mm-hmm. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, too. I'm looking for Christmas balls, and I was wondering if you carry black balls. Do I have what, darling? In black. Black balls? Yeah. No, ma'am, I don't have any black Christmas balls. Do you have colored balls? I have colored balls, yes, ma'am. If I come down to the store, can I see the balls? Yes, you can come down to the store and see the balls, baby. Come on down here and see them. Okay. Do you have hairy ones? Hairy? What do you mean, hairy, baby? Do you have hairy balls? Oh, my God. No, ma'am. i never seen a hairy ball before. Don't do Jesus, really? Do you have saggy balls? Have what? Do you have saggy balls? Oh, my God, really? Do you have any that shoot cum? Do they shoot cum? How is this? I'm just asking if any of your balls shoot cum. No, they do not. Who is this? I want to floss my teeth with your ball hair. Oh, my God. Hello. Thank you for calling. How can I help you? Oh, hi. We got disconnected. Yes, we did get disconnected. Power Chef, this is Pam. Hi, Pam. Jack Rabat. I'm calling about uh, getting some information on a personal trainer. Okay. Are you a member here? What I'd like to do is find out if you have some type of trainers that can work with my body type. I have a graduate of the wellness fitness program up at SDSU. I don't want to get into any kind of a fancy program. I'd like to get a trainer who will put me on the mat, get me on the bench, and just, you know, work me and get me into shape as quickly as possible. And he is I don't an know if trainer. there's a guy that does a... that in your in your program yep, or if there's somebody that you, about you right like now. about, then I'll I'll see him. But I gotta make sure that it's somebody who's really got the stuff that it takes to get me in and whip me into shape. Do you have anything like that? Yeah, his name's Eric. Your, what are your hours? We open at 5.30 in the morning. And Give it to me so that I can write that down. I want to write this down so I know exactly what your hours are. What, so go ahead. What are the hours? I started to. Monday through Thursday, 5.30 a.m. What are your hours? And then give it, give it to me starting on Monday after the weekend. If you would just be quiet for one moment, I'll give you my give you my hours. I am open 5.30 a.m. I've uh, been doing this for a while? Yes. Okay. All right. And he has credentials and things like that. But you just told me you didn't care about that. Because no, I started I, telling you that he was oh, a no, no, no. graduate I, I of a wellness fitness very, program very at important. SDSU. I just need to know. He that he has got program. the credentials has that I need to have because I don't want to be program. training with somebody who doesn't know what they're doing. So what has he done? How, what kind of credentials does I he have? I just told you. Maybe you just need to come in and meet with him. And he can I'm sorry. explain I, I, to you. I think we got off on the wrong foot here. I'm just yeah, trying to find I think out. So too. <laughs> I'm trying to, you know, I'm so stressed out from being out of shape. You keep asking what I'd like to do is I'd like to just find out you're when I question. could see him and what the hours are, but I'm not hearing what that is. Because you keep asking me a question. Okay, just tell me what the hours are. I'll write you. those down, and then we okay. can figure out when I can see this Eric guy who has credentials or not. I don't know if he has credentials. He is a graduate of the wellness fitness And program. don't forget to tell me what the hours are, too, because I want to I want to I start as... Seven as, times as, to right, tell you what, what the what, hours what, are. What are. Okay. Excuse what, me, could what you are just stop hours? for one moment? Just stop. I have tried seven times to tell you what the hours are. Every time I start to tell you what the hours are, you ask me okay. another question. I think you need to be a little more assertive on the phone, to be honest. I'm being very assertive on the phone, but you keep interrupting Every me. Every time so I'm I not try to talk, to... you talk over me, ma'am. No, you, just you let talk me, over let me. Just finish you what ask I'm me a here. question, let me I just try to answer the saying. question, Does you ask me Eric another question. Character, if I can work out in the morning, say, from 9 or from 8.30 to 9.45, will he be able to help me out with that? I would have to check with his schedule and make sure okay, that he is not... Okay, ma'am, you're going to have to let me finish. I had, did not finish. This is a dialogue, not a monologue. I would have to check with his schedule. Christ, do you ever shut up? And we're back with the kings of riddles, Jack and Rod. It's Riddle Palooza. Riddle Palooza. And who do we have on the phone, Jack? Rod, we have the author of the best trivia book ever. She is known as the queen of trivia. Let's hear it for Jane Flynn. How are you? Oh, good. Ready to have a little fun. And you know what? We're going to have a Riddle Palooza throwdown. Are you ready, Queen of Trivia? I am ready. You go first. Shoot. Okay. The man who constructed this sold this. The man who purchased this never used this. The man who used this never saw this. What was this? A, a coffin! coffin. Oh, oh, you gotta do a little better than that. All right, we're gonna stump you now. Rod, are you ready? Oh, we're ready. Go! All right. Roxy has six black cocks in her ass, two Puerto Rican cocks in her vagina, and one Albanian cock in her mouth. If two black cocks are pulled out of her ass, how many black cocks are left in Roxy's ass? Uh, two. 
to what? <laughs> I'm not going to say it. The answer was four black cocks. I thought you were the queen of trivia. I am the queen of trivia, but not in that. T that's not trivia. Okay, it's time to redeem yourself. Gay Ray pays men to shit on his chest at scat parties. If Gay Ray pays $2 for each turd that falls on his chest, and at the end of the day he pays out $14, how many pieces of shit end up on Gay Ray's chest? 28. Uh, uh, it's seven pieces of shit. Oh, I'm, t I'm terrible in math. Now yeah. Rod's going to throw you another question, so come on, go. Juanita loves sucking horse cock. If Juanita sucks off a horse with a four-foot cock and is able to fit 12 inches of cock in her mouth, how much horse cock is left outside of Juanita's mouth? Three feet. You're right. You are right. Yeah. Oh. Three I feet. Really got one. <laughs> three feet of what? And that's for you to say. Three feet of horse cock. I'm going to throw you another one and see if you can stay ahead of this, all right? Okay. Alexa pussy farts six times whenever she gets fucked doggy style. If 17 Mexicans fuck Alexa doggy style, how many pussy farts will she blow out of her twat? Oh, God. Uh, uh, 102. That's, That's right. right. Yes. Yeah. Hey, I got one. 102 pussy farts while she gets fucked by Mexicans. <laughs> Well, you know what? I think we're just going to call you the winner. You are the queen of Thank trivia. Thank you, Jack and Rod. I hope you have me back on again. Thanks, uh, Miss Flynn. Thank have you. a great day. Thank you. And we're back on the Jack and Rod show. Please welcome Denise Krochta. Hey, my name is Denise Krochta, and I have a book out called Sweat, A Practical Plan for Keeping Your Heart Intact While Loving an Addict. And I spend a lot of time with my passion helping families who have addicts in their good, families. Good, good. We're glad and I that you're on the phone because today here in the studio we have my teenage son, Seth, and my teenage daughter, Maria, and they've actually been in the green room smoking marijuana. They're really, really high, and they don't listen to us, and we were wondering, could you possibly set them straight and get them off marijuana? I will do my best. Good morning, Seth and Maria. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to talk about this. <laughs> so, Seth and Maria, do you know that the pot that you smoke now is sometimes laced with very harmful chemicals? It's not just pot like it used to be. Yeah, exactly. So you, <laughs> and you like that? You like that? Yes. <laughs> yeah, so you like to know what uh, it does to your brain? Fuck it, man. <laughs> Uh-huh. So what do you think it does to your brain? <laughs> Duh. <laughs> <laughs> wah, wah, wah. <laughs> okay. Um, what, how does smoking pot make you feel? Pretty awesome. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, if people listen to this show, they're going to figure out that it's probably not a good thing to smoke marijuana. It may not help you two, but it might help other people. I can tell you that for many kids it is a joke, and uh, it's a joke all the way to not having a life after you get a little older. Fuck that shit. <laughs> yeah, so, <laughs> but, but is that okay with you? Yes! <laughs> yeah, that's what I think, too. <laughs> yeah, so you think that's okay? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> okay, so you don't, you don't really plan on uh, having a, a, a good, fun life later on, because it, it's, it turns into quite a bit of misery later on. <laughs> No. No. <laughs> so this is all a joke. You, I could see that. Exactly. That's, uh, that's interesting. Good. <laughs> you know what? This is the most important thing that I always learned. You cannot reason with an addict. Fuck no. You crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Just as I said before, you can't reason with somebody who's using pot. So <laughs> I would suggest find a therapist or someone that they are close to to talk to them. <laughs> 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 It sounds like this guy's smoking a little synthetic marijuana. <laughs> oh my god, I'm dying right now. <laughs> Good luck with that. Fucking right. A, man. I appreciate that. Thank you. <laughs> Hello? Hi. Hi. Hello. Hello. How are you? How are you? I'm fine. How are you? I'm getting a call the student show in a little bit. What size penis do you have? Do what? Why don't you fuck me? Who's this? I'm Blue Iris. Blue Iris? Yeah. So what are you doing? 
I'm getting really hot. You are? Yeah. How hot? I'd like to help you come. You would? Yeah. Pull out your testicles. Already did. What are you doing? I have four fingers of my wet kind. What do you mean, four fingers? Up your pussy? Yeah. Stroke those hairy testicles. Do you want to come? Where you at? I want to tickle your frosties. You do? Yeah. I suck on your tits. Do what? I took out my teeth already. You did? I want to spit on your dirty you pecker. You do? Yeah. It's not dirty, it's clean. Are you stroking your cock? Yeah. Oh. Are you thick like a can of soup? Yeah. Can I put my finger in your ass? Yeah. Oh, I hear you whacking it. You can? Yeah. <laughs> you sound so youthful and ready. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. How old are you? Yeah. Do you have a toy? Yeah. Do you got a vibrator? Yeah. Let me hear it. Yeah, Look. I'm wet. Very wet. <laughs> I got it to go. I got to take a nap. Okay? Oh, I'm glad. Okay, bye. Oh, I'm so bye. hot. Bye. Yeah. Hello? Yeah, how are you? Looking for scooters? Yeah. Oh, great. I'm going to drop one off today. Where are you at? You want to sell it? Yeah. How much you want for it? I'll give you. I'll give it to you dirt cheap. I just want to get rid of it quick. Uh, you know when scooters downtown? Yeah. Third and scooters. Third and. Hey, listen. I'm bringing you the scooter. It's in good shape. Do me a favor, though. If my wife calls looking for the scooter, you don't know nothing. I don't know nothing now, even. Well, okay. Let's keep it that way. I'm gonna get rid of this piece of shit. And get out of my house. Okay. You got it. I'll be there in a little bit, buddy. Okay, buddy. Bye. Bye. -bye. Hi, sir. How are you? Good. Did a man call just uh, offering to sell a scooter for cheap? I don't know, man. I got a lot of calls with the scooter business. Hmm. What happened? Well, here's what happened. I was sitting there watching my stories. I get the, ready to crawl over into my scooter to go in the kitchen to get a ham sandwich. My fucking scooter's gone. And my husband leaves a note by the phone saying, Scooter, third and... So he, I think he's on his way over to sell my stolen scooter. What's your name? Ethel. Ethel? Well, I didn't buy nothing today yet from nobody. Well, he's on his way over there now. I'm just going to have the cops meet him over there at your place because he stole my goddamn scooter. Don't call the cops. If you come and I see a scooter, I'm not going to buy it. I, it's, I know, but you know what? You're already wrapped up in this. It's my husband's a scumbag. He does this shit all the time. I'm tired of it. Well, I don't wrap up with nothing because I didn't buy nothing, so... Hello? Yeah, I'm on the scooter. I'm on my way in. I'm on Main Street. Your wife just told me. Oh, shit. I told... Did you tell her anything? Oh, I didn't say nothing to your wife, man. I'm on the scooter right now. I'm coming down now. I'm going to drop it off. No, you got paper for the bike? I got whatever you need. I'm just dropping off. You give me thirty dollars. We get in. We get out. That's it. She don't know nothing. You don't know nothing. I don't know nothing. All right? Okay. Come over. Oh shit! The fucking police are behind me. What do you mean behind you? There's a cop car behind me. So move to the side. They're chasing you. I'm not yet. Yeah, no, he's chasing me. He's telling me to pull over. You got a back area I can pull into? I got a garage, yeah. Yeah, yeah, open the garage. I'll just pull in there. Where are you going to see you coming over, man? Not nah, my fucking... Well, you must have told my wife. She called the fucking I didn't say. I didn't say nothing to nobody, man. Oh, shit. What the fuck are you shooting at me, these son of a bitches? I don't know what you're talking about, man. Where's the fucking garage? What do you mean, where? It's here in the store. All right, open the fucking door, man. I got to get rid of these cops. Fuck! Jesus! Hello? The cops are behind me. I got my wife on the phone. She said you called the cops on me. Why'd you call the cops on my head? Yeah.